Okay, so I started recording a little late, but um, we're going to start off by summoning Twin-Headed Behemoth, and I want to kind of sort of show you guys um, why I built my deck the way I built it, and I want to show its effectiveness. It's not effective against everybody, because that goes with every deck, like, you can get your ass whooped sometimes. But the thing is, it's just to constantly build your deck in the Doku Rider. Let's go. Come on, hurry up. I'm facing the computer-generated um, character. NPC. Let me summon back. That's his effect. Ooh, I like this one. This is Black Dragon's Chick. I can summon a blue, uh, red eyes Black Dragon. <clears throat> Boom. There it is. Might have this one in the bag pretty early. We'll see right now. And I kind of sort of build my deck. So it coincides with each other, you know, like I, I, I add a lot of, I know I have a lot of high level cards and sometimes that can prove to be fatal sometimes to, to yourself because simple fact that you just have too many high level cards and you have to wait for your, your deck to develop. And, but I mean, most, most often than not, more often than not, you, you get to, um, You get the cards that you want. It's it's just all it's all based on luck. The the higher numbers you have in, in those cards that you want, the the better it is um, that you're gonna get what you want out of that deck. Deck construction. I've said it before. Don't don't be afraid to to chop it up and 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 get in the lab and and just rework your deck because that's how you're gonna get points to to be in Tomb World the Dweller okay so that one gives me effect for every continuous spell card and trap in my tra spell and trap zone that gives me extra 300 attack only when they're in the three little slots right there. Go ahead and attack. Direct attack. Game over. Boom. Let's go. So that was uh, pretty easy. But then again, it is a NPC, so should be easy most of the time, even though it's like a level 27. Mm -hmm. And then we level up Kaiba. We're gonna go deal Pegasus with this with this deck. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and duel him with this deck. Hopefully, this is this is the deck that's gonna beat him. See right now, the, the rewards you get better rewards with the, the more points you score. Like for example, I was down, so I get twenty five hundred for a comeback victory. I played a glossy card that's two hundred. Perform special summon. If you take no damage, that's extra. If you take, uh, if you summon a ritual summon, that's extra. Spell cards, that's extra. Trap card, that's extra. <clears throat> and all that adds up to to more stuff like keys. See, I got four, four stars right there. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and and duke it out with. 
Pegasus. Mm. Excuse me. <clears throat> I want to go ahead and show you guys my deck really quick that I I uh, I just used Paladin of the White Dragon. I like this this card because um you can summon the blue eyes with that card right there. This is my uh, ritual deck, I guess, slash fusion deck. It's pretty decent. Double cost then that that can act as two tributes for a dark monster, which would be for for a red eyes black dragon. Karibo, it blocks attacks. I can use that if it's in my graveyard as a tribute summon for a ritual summon. That makes sense. Yeah, Karibo comes comes in handy sometimes, and you guys see me use Dweller in the Depths, Twin-Headed Behemoth. If it gets destroyed, I can resummon it after the fact that my uh, opponent's turn is over. It's resummoned in attack or in defensive position. Mm -hmm. Black Dragon's Chick. That can be used to special summon a Red Eyes Black Dragon. Fusion Gate, I really like that one because you can put it in your field um, spell area and that can uh, act as a polymerization, but all the cards get banished instead of going to the graveyard. So being that I only have um, one um, Meteor Black Dragon, that uh, that doesn't really help. Then Heart of the Underdog, I really like that one because um, it lets me, it's a continuous spell and it, it lets me redraw. If I get a non-effect monster, polymerization, that that's... Um, Self-explanatory dispel. This is only activated during your turn, and when you set it and you activate it, destroys any spell cards. Remove trap. That's only during your turn. You can remove a continuous trap. White dragon ritual is to summon a uh, paladin of the white dragon. That's pretty. Uh, armor break. Um, it can be used as a counter when they um, activate an equip spell. I have Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I just got him uh, this morning. I, I was pretty stoked about that, so I went ahead and, and uh, built my deck around that because I wanted to use it, you know? Why not? We're going to go ahead and do a Pegasus now. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to change my deck. I, I built a deck specifically to face Pegasus, and we're gonna try it out. You know, we have, we just have one try. We're gonna see if we can get on the first try to be relinquished. We're gonna use relinquished in this one, hopefully. I like this card a lot because you can attribute one of his his uh cards to your relinquished oh this one the four star ladybug of doom it destroys and he, he has a lot of four four monsters you already know what baby dragon does mystical sheep this one acts as a as a um fusion material as long as you have the other material and then this armed ninja he as soon as you flip him, flip summon, or he gets flipped, um, he destroys any spell spell cards. So that's good. He has a lot of spell cards, and that could potentially just wipe out any spell cards he has. Meteor Dragon, Red Eyes Black Dragon, Fusion Gate. Order to Charge. This one is a good one. It's a quick play spell, and you can... 
as soon as your opponent attacks on your second turn, I believe, or when you activate it, you can send his card and your card to the graveyard. Heart of the Underdog, I like that one, continuous. Um, you know what, Polymerization, I think I'm going to take these two out, two man cell battle. I don't even know why I had those in there, but I think I'm going to take those out. I really don't like those. And I always try to keep my decks under 25 cards because it's uh, the odds, you know, they have to be in your favor otherwise. So the, the less cards you have, the the better odds you have of actually um, getting the cards you want. And I, I, I spent no money. I just play the game, man. I just play the game. I spent no money on this game. Well, just, you know what? The, the boxes, the, the, I think it was like $6. Where you get one rare, rare card, massive dispel. I like this one because if he wants to keep using that Tomb Wealth, it's going to cost them. It's going to cost them. Yeah. 500 life points. During each of the standby phases, this twister. I like this twister because it, but you have to pay. I really don't want that one. No, this one, no. Mm -hmm. What can I use? No. No. I think I'm going to use two order to charges. Just because he, um, he summons a lot of monsters, especially some of them that can attack directly to your life points, and that's a that's a pain in the in the keister there. Let's see, it's kind of lagging here. I don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah, we just need one of those, and that puts us at 20. Let's save it, and fingers crossed, man. We have, hopefully we can take out we can take out Pegasus. I've lost like what level 40. I've lost like twice already to him. And it was because I just had too many high level monsters and hitting them. Yeah, I like the way that looks. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Pegasus, here we come. Yeah, we only get one try 42. Let me know if if uh you guys want to see more of that. I mean me taking on Pegasus, I think I'm gonna hit it, hit it pretty hard to see, see how many stars I can collect and see how far I can, I can go, as far as the multiplier points and whatnot. Peak performance, bam! This dude Kaiba, man, he, he's a, he's a fool. He talks, he talks a lot. <clears throat> <laughs> That's expected. I already knew that one. Dispel. How about yeah? Let's activate that. We're gonna activate that. It's gonna cost them five hundred points. <clears throat> yeah, we'll set this down. So if he attacks. They're both going to get destroyed. Not too much of a decent hand because I really can't activate anything. Besides that ladybug, that lady... Oh, direct attack. See what I mean? Another direct attack. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, this guy, man. He's pissing me off. Order to charge. Let's set that down. Yeah. Oh my god. 
This fucking asshole, bro. This guy's a dick. I hate him. Alright, let's set that card down. And what am I gonna do? Yeah, flip summon. Boom, bitch. They're all destroyed. Now what? All gone. All gone. No, let's... Let's... Uh, should I battle? <sighs> Fuck it. Let's summon this meteor dragon. We'll attack. That's gonna have him lose 1,800. But it's 2,000, yeah, because of the, the field spell. <coughs> no, I don't want to make a video. My turn. Draw. Okay. Yeah. He's gone. Activate the effect. Two world destroyed. Bye bye. Another direct attack. I'm down 300, man. I, I mean, I, I got nothing. I got nothing. Oh. You fucking dick. Well, the good thing is, is oh, unless he summons one of those fucking monsters that that aren't tuned, then he can attack and <laughs> it's game over. <laughs> oh, man. fuck you. Pegasus, man. Douchebag. Oh, he didn't summon anything. Okay. Fusion Gate. Oh, shit. That would have helped because I have fucking Meteor Dragon in the graveyard. <sighs> mm. Fuck it. I have nothing else to do. 300. <laughs> No, let's go. It's game over, bro. This is game over. Game over, man. Game over. <laughs> Unless no, oh, he has nothing. <laughs> it's over, bro. It's over, bro. Pegasus, I finally defeated you. Summon Meteor Dragon, that's 3,500 attack. That's just what I need. It's game over. Boom. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was uh, unexpected. Only, I only having 300 life points left. That was pretty... That was pretty unexpected there. Dual results, Seto Kaiba, level 10. It was a comeback victory, C2500, low life points, 500, play Glossy Card, over 3000 damage, 500, activated spell, 100, perform a special summon, 100, tribute summon, 300, perform fusion summon, 300. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. And this was just fucking saying, yeah, you beat me, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I beat you, yeah. Rewards, let me reap them. Let's go. The other Pegasus, is they're, they're, they're easy to beat. This level 41 was just, he was giving me a hard time. Well, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time.